my bag. Sliding into my DMs. The front is done and it magically just got there. Jamie filmed it all and it got deleted, so that's all we have. What's up everyone? Long time no speak. The baby, we had lots of footage, but my dumbass deleted it all by accident. <laughs> so this is how we're coming along with the roof transition. I'll take you on top to see a bit more detail. Here she is. I've basically just got one piece and then a corner piece, like a curved piece and then a straight piece. Very technical, I know. Again, like most stuff, it's not the prettiest, but it works. The gray stuff's like um, automotive, like panel, um, what's the name? It's like a technical something. Seam sealer, it's called seam sealer. It was like 20 bucks a tube, but it's, it's bloody good. Made this little bend, just hammered it. And they've got these roofing nails, self screwing. They got their neoprene washers on them to stop the water going in. What I did was like made like cardboard templates. Like I say, I had footage, but I no longer have the footage. That's what the side's looking like. But yeah, once we paint the roof with the tropical white stuff, we'll fill in all the little crevices. I'm probably gonna trim this back, make it look all nice, but. Yeah, the front roof transition is, is done. Just got to titivate it and make it look all sexy. Here is our solution for fastening the new sheet metal onto the side. So instead of rivets, we're going for these self-drilling roofing screws. It's one inch with the little washer underneath. So when you drill through the sheet metal, the washer kind of squishes down, gives you a watertight seal. So I'll show you how easy it is to drill these in. Just get the screw and it just drills itself. This is as easy as that. Done. And then you can watch the washer. So the tighter you go, the the squishier the washer gets, I guess. See, that's too tight. And then you want to you can just back it off until you've got the desired amount of squishy. I shall call him squishy and he shall be mine. And he shall be my squishy. So then the sheet metal just slides straight on under there. And that way the water will run down. And then we'll just go straight onto this panel and straight off. Easy as that. And like I say, this is just the ceiling panels that we took out from the interior. We're raising the roof 18 inches. These are like 30 inches long, so we've got plenty. Let's cut a straight line. You've got a nice bit of sheet metal. Free, I guess. Progress is being made on the rear roof transition. Kelsey, yes. where are we at? We bended the metal. It's a bended piece of metal. Now we're gonna screw her in place. So the boring technical bit. We've got one sheet, this sheet, that goes pretty much like three quarters of the way across. And then we've got this one corner piece, which ties in with this one that's covering up the window, along with our supports. And then we're gonna create a template for this piece where Kelsey's going to show us where it's going to go. Right there. Gorgeous. It's one way to do it. Jay, what do you think about just leaving it like this? And then we can just have a foot swing. He's got a tool belt now. He means business. I'm official. Look at the progress. Front transition, done. Back transition, nearly done. All we gotta do on the back is make that little piece there. Here's how. So I've made this template. Me and Kelsey like cut and put back in, took back out, cut some more until we got the right curvature, all the little bumps and nooks and crannies. So now I've stenciled it onto this sheet metal, which is actually 18 gauge. Now I'm gonna cut it out, then see if the piece So word of the wise, when you're cutting steel or sheet metal, you go through so many freaking angle grinding discs. I bet I've used probably 40 already, and I've not really done a lot with sheet metal. Well, I don't a bit, but you get what I'm saying. You use a lot of these. Voila, we have our piece. Okay, so this is where we're at. Sorry I couldn't really film it. Kind of like awkward to film up on the roof. 
but I got the section in so I've got three like steel supports that I welded in on the other side so I just screwed into those and then I'll run corking all the way along here and on the little crease oh hello mate where are you going you want to say hi so the way I've designed it is I've got a little lip like same as what you do on a house like the drip edge as you can see there's still like there's like a lot of daylight so I'm just going through and welding the gap that should just seal it up and we should all be all snug I think I've run out of worldwide. I guess I'll be going to Home Depot. There she is. The finished rear transition. Now today we're gonna paint the roof. 